In the aftermath of the tragic mass shooting at a small church in Sutherland Springs, Texas, it was revealed that the murderer had a history of domestic violence and never should have been permitted to purchase or possess the weapon used in the massacre in the first place. Unfortunately, bureaucrats within the U.S. Air Force failed to enter the killer's name into the National Instant Criminal Background Check system after he was convicted as required by law, which allowed him to pass a background check and purchase a firearm. But facts aside, many Democrats, and even some rhinos, have demanded new gun control laws, even though the murderer was already in violation of a number of gun control laws that did nothing to stop him from committing the atrocity. According to the Daily Wire, one of those rhinos calling for more gun control is Arizona Senator Jeff Flake, who took to Twitter on Tuesday to announce that he had teamed up with a Democrat colleague to write a bill that would prevent anyone convicted of domestic violence from purchasing or possessing a firearm. Trending, after TX shooting, Washington State begins selective gun confiscation, there is just one problem with that, namely, that it is already against the law for such individuals to purchase or possess a firearm, as alluded to above. Indeed, the law is titled Domestic Violence Offender Gun Ban, also known as the Lautenberg Amendment, named after the bill's sponsor, Democrat New Jersey Senator Frank Lautenberg, and it was passed into law in 1996. Furthermore, it is also clearly stated in 18 U.S. Code Sec. 922. G. That, it shall be unlawful for any person, 9, who has been convicted in any court of a misdemeanor crime of domestic violence, to ship or transport, possess, or to receive any firearm or ammunition. Sec. 922. G. 8. Also applies the same prohibition to anyone subject to a court order such as a restraining order. Unsurprisingly, it didn't take long before the citizens of Twitter land pushed back on the senator who seemed unaware of laws already on the books. Donald Trump Jr. mocked Flake's incredibly proactive measure of writing a law that had been on the books since the mid-1990s. But Flake remained undeterred, instead insisting that he was closing some sort of loophole in the law, a loophole that doesn't actually exist. That only brought more pushback from individuals apparently smarter and more in tune with the law than the senator. Related, gay anti-gun group Storm Senate Building, then meets armed Capitol Police, someone shared a link with Flake highlighting the title 18 sec. 922 law mentioned above, Trump Jr. responded, Fox News host Laura Ingraham summed it up best when she tweeted, If Flake wants to be taken seriously as a lawmaker. It would help if he was aware of existing laws that covers what he supposedly thinks is an issue worth addressing. Maybe next he can tackle the heart of the problem and just make it illegal to kill people. Oh, wait, make murder more illegal. Please share this article on Facebook and Twitter so everyone can see that Senator Jeff Flake is now proposing a gun control law that has already been on the books since 1996. What do you think of Sen? Flake's proposed bill that has already been law for 21 years? Scroll down to comment below.